Have you ever used microphones before? No. No? Okay. Well, when you're a big senior executive and doing a lot of presentations, you will. Okay. okay. There's various types of microphones. Some of them are called lapel mics that go on your T-shirt. Okay. And other ones, like this, are fixed. Okay. So, if you have to speak to 200 people, it sounds good now. But if I turn off the angle, can you hear that? No. It doesn't sound as good, yeah? Yeah. And if I move away over here, it doesn't sound as good. So you need to remember where your microphone is. So okay. even, I'm sp even though I'm sort of looking in different directions, I'm always trying to speak straight into the microphone. Okay. So you have a, you have a speak and see mm. if you can get your sound look sounding nice. Hello. So, okay. <laughs> so what we have here are okay. the phonetic symbols in received pronunciation. Received pronunciation is what? That's standard English, okay? British English is too generalized. There are three countries, and I'm not teaching you Welsh, and I'm not teaching you Scottish. I'm teaching you middle-class, normal BBC English, okay. okay? This is called RP. The American equivalent would be General American. That's what, you know, Tom Cruise, Obama, these people speak, okay? okay. This is what would be spoken by most normal English people. Okay. You have the phonetic symbols in sp Spanish. How many vowels do you have? Five. Five with a V. There's no F. Five. Five. Okay, we've got a problem with the F and V. In English, there are 12, and there's one twice, okay? Okay. Don't worry if you don't recognize the symbols, but I'll, you will get used to it with me, okay? Okay. This is an E, the same as Spanish, piña, but it's got two dots after it. That means it's double length. Okay? okay. You don't have anything double length in Spanish, so you need to start doing it. And I'm here. I can hear that you don't do it because you didn't know that it existed. No. I knew. It. I I know it, but I never. No one taught me. So. Yeah. Okay. So th there are certain ones that are double length. It's imagine you have two, like piña. Okay. No? Okay. So this is a double length one because it's got two dots. E sheet. E sheet. Sheet. It doesn't change. It ca can't carries on for the two two length. Sheet. Sheet. Okay. Then it's a single length. This occurs with a Y at the end of the word, like company, happy, etc. Okay. Same, but it's not two dots, so it's single length. Happy. Happy. Then we have a separate one. Okay. This is a distinct sound. It's the uppercase I, and it's an E. It's single length, and it's different. E. So sheet and shit. Okay. Sheet. Sheet and shit. Shit. That's shit. it. That's it. It's a common Spanish mistake to make them both sound the same. Hmm. No. Sabana y mierda. E ten. Same as Spanish. Ten. Easy. Okay. A similar to caña, but it's like it's almost the same. Man. Man. You will hear Americans who say the plural. Men and the singular man, they're both like men and men. Okay. They will sound the same. But an English person is men and man. Men, men and man. Okay. Uh done. Done. Not bad. Double length again. Burger King. <clears throat> Burger King. Not quite. That's bugger is what people do in Trekker in bars, okay? What? Down People who go to Trekker in bars go downstairs and they do something called buggering, okay? That's not what we're talking about here. Okay. That's a rude word. Okay. Here we're talking burger. Uh, it's like it's disgusting. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Burger King. Burger King. That's it. Okay. This is called the schwa. Basically, almost all words of two or more syllables in English have it. It's the most common sound. It doesn't exist in Spanish, and most Spanish people don't have it. Normally, in a word of two or more syllables, the last syllable changes from the normal syllable to the schwa. So what do I mean? This, If this was just one word, O-R, that would be or. No, mm -hmm. John or Susan. If it changes to a two-syllable word, it changes to a. Uh. Doctor. Doctor. England. England. That's it. It's not England. Yeah, I know, I know. It's England. England. So land changes to England. Ham changes to Beckham. Beckham? 
Beckham. That's it. You got it. Here, this was the mitaf in English is half. Half. Double length. And there's Car. no L. Car. Car. That's it. You got it. O. Cot. Cot. Double length again. O. Court. Court. Okay. O. Wood. Wood. Double length. This is the same as Spanish, but double length. O. Mood. Mood. Mm, bit deeper. Mood. O. Mood. You sort of say mood. 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 O. A bit, a bit deeper in your diaphragm. Okay. Mood. That's it. You're quick, eh? This is good. Normal. The the other lady I had this week, and she was a director partner in Boston Consulting. Do you know them? Yeah, of course. Yeah, and she was clever, obviously. But mm -hmm. you're going better than her. Nice. Ear, fear. Fear. Air. So again, it's e plus schwa. Air. There. 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 The. It's two sounds. Look, air, er, there. There. Like you have diphthongs in Spanish in the words. Vergüenza. Vergüenza, yes, or dia, or day, opus day. No? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in the Moraleja they have their opus day, no? So a, same as in Spanish, in English, we'll get to in a second. Ua, fuel. Fuel. Au, cow. Cow. This is the one that you were changing to be a bit posher than normal English. O, home. Home. Because you sort of say, whom. The, the mouth of it, right, home. Home. That's it. The queen will say, home. <laughs> okay. And the royal family, the younger people in the royal family, pretend they're not posh. Okay. Because it's not fashionable to sound like the queen. Okay. So Prince William and Prince Harry try to pretend that they're not posh, but everybody knows that they are. Okay. Because they think that they sound stupid if they sound too posh. Okay. But if you are friends with all the multimillionaires like Richard Branson's children and go to finishing school in Switzerland, you inevitably sound like this. A, like Opus Day, day. Day. I, five. Five. With a V, five. 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 That's it. You've got a problem with your consonants at the end of the word. Okay. okay. It's, it's a general Spanish disease because you do not giving me a V. You're changing it to an F. Okay. Five. Five. That's it. You can do it. You just have to remember. Okay. When you see a V in English, you say a V. You don't say an F. Okay. Oi, coil. Coil. Okay. This is very quick, eh? For example, for me, it's confusing. I... Confusing with a Z. Confusing. confusing. F um, I don't remember. Fuel. I will say fuel. I know it's not. Fuel. Fuel. Because okay. you have a Spanish disease that you say ue and you want to say ue. Fuel. Yeah. yeah. Especially when it's the same word. Okay. Because in Spanish, you say what you see. Yeah, I know. And there are certain rules that are easy, like G before I and E is a H and the rest of the time it's a G. Yeah. That's easy. In English, Mm, eh, normally there aren't rules like I'm saying a V is a V that's that's a rule but normally it's not so easy you just have to sort of know fuel so always U E is mm, it's very difficult to say that always in English okay, okay? We, okay. I will start to teach fuel. you the things that normally are the case well okay like, normally, the last syllable of a two or more syllable word changes to schwa, doctor, Edward, you know, yeah. computer. Normally, but it's not always. It's a little bit more random, because English is a mix of German, French, Latin, and it's not so codified. Okay. okay? 